Well, hey, why don't you do me a favor? Tell me your name and tell me about your golf game, like your history. Uh, Reed Howard, and I'm a professional golfer. I've been doing it for about four years on, on mini tours and played college golf. And, uh, and I just bumped into you on the range, and I know that you're very, very into Hogan, and I believe in so much of what he does uh, and what he was able to do through Impact. So I kind of ended up geeking out with you about this. <laughs> about well, tell, this me about, tell me about how you went uh, from Hogan to where you are now with Mr. Norman. Okay. Uh, well, I really believe the way a lot of these guys go through impact and um, and I wasn't able to do it and I tried to, to mirror the way that Hogan was able to to move the club in transition and through impact and I couldn't quite get in those positions and uh, I had a little bit more success um, working with a guy uh, named Todd Graves who really mirrors uh, Mo Norman and a lot of the moves are the same and me trying to do similar things to Hogan has helped me a lot getting into these positions that are more like Mo Norman's but uh, but it's kind of amazing how going into going into transition and then through impact it's so similar between Mo, Lee Trevino, Ben Hogan it's kind of and they're all pretty good ball strikers <laughs> so hopefully it can lead to good ball striking for me. Isn't that funny how like even though their swings look unique the things they're doing are very similar very very similar uh, what about the shaft plane well yeah I mean especially if you're talking about Mo Mo Joe Durant and uh, and Ben Hogan uh, in transition it's like very very similar and then through impact it's very very similar um, and everyone talks about how you know going through impact is the only thing that's important well it's kind of funny that sort of some three of the best ball strikers of all time do something that's very similar to each other and very few other people do it and it's kind of interesting that more people don't try to emulate just kind of those few similarities. Cool. Can I watch you hit some? Sure. Sure. I'm trying to keep my arms in front of me is because I try to extend out forward and just make sure I don't over rotate on the backswing. So it became a habit pointing like that, but the purpose of it was to make sure that I don't rotate too much through the ball. Because if I rotate through much, uh, too much with that upper body, then I can't release it properly. Right on. Very interesting. So the elbow and the club face in the perfect position at the top. It's a little closer. All right, guys, so what we have here is my lightsaber plane line uh, set on Reed's shaft plane, just to take a look at how he's managing the shaft plane throughout the swing. Now, one of the things that's remarkable about the best ball strikers that I've studied is they return the club to the shaft plane at impact. Um, most golfers tend to return the club on a higher plane where the shaft is tilted up a little bit. But let's, uh, let's watch Reed uh, hit this ball real quick. Okay, that's pretty insane. So if we watch the butt end of the handle, we'll see that it goes under just a little bit here just a couple inches and here we see that it's right on that plane now uh, as 
Mr. Hogan reached to the shoulder plane, he would lift it off of the shaft plane a little bit. Um, not nearly as much as most golfers, but, you know, he did a little bit. But look at how close to the original shaft plane he has the butt end of that handle. Now, this is where it's really remarkable to me. So he's going to load into the ground. And I love the way he uses the ground in his knees in this golf swing. But you can see that that butt end of the handle is working right down that shaft plane right now. And look at this. Wow, he is aimed right where he started at a dress. Down, 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 holding that angle. Look at his Shangri-La position here. Hips are already cleared. And look at that stable foot. That left foot is buried into the ground. I love his deep knee bend, something that I'm always working on. And then he delivers the club right back to where it was when he started. And then you watch the club exit, and it still stays remarkably on plane. Look at this left exit. That club is still on plane. If, his, uh, if he didn't have straight bones, he could probably get it around in a perfect circle. But that is very, very remarkable. And now, uh, if we look at Mr. Norman next to Mr. Reed, we see some remarkable similarities as well. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah, Reed's been uh, playing pro golf for four years now. Reed's worked with some of the best golf instructors in the world. And... He's, I think, about six months into this Mo Norman transformation, but you're talking about a guy who's worked on the Hogan stuff, but uh, he really, really has it going on here. So let's look at these positions. The timing is practically exactly that of Mo Norman. Yeah, of course, Mo's a little bit older here but his timing still seems to be pretty much intact. So to me, um, it doesn't look like either one of them are turning off of the ball very much. Uh, the hips are still fairly square. Um, they get that left shoulder underneath the chin, um, and it looks like they're really loaded deep into their right side, which I like a lot. This is where it gets so interesting to me, is this knee drive. And look at uh, both of their feet, that they're both well connected into the ground, and Reed's right knee is running at the ball at such a key move, and we also talked about getting the right elbow under the left elbow, which is very key to all these great ball strikers. And then look at this, they're both in a perfect position to deliver this club, the positions are practically identical. I, to, I was shocked when uh, when I actually took a second to watch Reed hit some golf balls. I was like, this is the craziest thing I've ever seen. But uh, again, we agreed so much that a lot of these principles, you know, whether it's Hogan, Trevino, or Mo Norman, you know, they all have that long flat spot at the bottom. Uh, that knee bend is crucial. I think it helps maintain uh, that stable club face through the hit. And uh, these guys are really incredible. God, that is so crazy. And we'll watch these head-to-head uh, -head comparisons one last time. You guys let me know if you'd like to see more Reed Howard on my channel. Uh, it was great to make his acquaintance. He's very knowledgeable about the game of golf. I hope these videos are helping your game as well. Feel free to give us a thumbs up or leave a comment. That always helps us out. And hit them long and hit them straight.
excited to announce the very first Hogan Code My Driving Evolution Clinic, where we're going to work on both of them at the Desert Mirage Golf Club in Glendale, Arizona. Yeah, just outside of Phoenix. This is going to be incredible. We're going to spend the first part of the day working on the Hogan Code principles, and then I'm going to teach everybody how to swing for speed. It's totally cool. It's going to be a hundred bucks for both sessions. So it's going to be limited enrollment. So you can go to myswingevolution.com and sign up if you're interested. It's on March 11th, my birthday in Glendale, Arizona. I'll see you there.